guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a very exciting video and start to essentially gift guide week. For the rest of this week, I'm gonna be uploading a video every single day with a different themed gift guide. So we're starting things off with gift guides for her today. I've got gift guide for him. I've got some more budget friendly stocking fillers. I've got gift guide for pets and pet owners. I've also got one for couples. And then last but not least, I do have a B&M gift guide as well to finish off the week. So I hope you guys will enjoy the rest of this week. If you haven't already, make sure you are subscribed so that you don't miss out. I did also do some small business gift guides for the last two years, I think it was. But what I'm gonna do this year is just incorporate some of the small businesses within the gift guides that I'm doing anyway. So without further ado, make sure you're set with your nice cozy Christmas hot chocolate. Get your Christmas PJs on, light your Christmas candles. I've actually got a white company one that I've just started burning over there. So yeah, get comfy, relax guys, get your pens and paper. I will leave links to everything in the description box below. I'll categorize these videos into kind of price order as well. So starting with more affordable items leading to mid range and high end. And then of course, lots more budget friendly options within my stocking filler gift guide as well. Okay, the first thing I wanted to talk about is actually a pre-Christmas gift idea and it's some kind of advent calendar. I know they do, um, like a load of shops do the big beauty advent calendars every year and they bring them out quite early. They sell out quite early as well. But if you didn't manage to get your hands on one or if you wanted a more budget alternative, I think it's really fun to do a kind of DIY advent. So whether that be with little love notes every day or little affirmations or whether you've got a selection of, you know, those freebie beauty samples that you can pick up on the counters. I remember one year my mum, she just collected over a couple of months a variety of different beauty samples that you can get on those counters, the little free perfume sprays, um, little moisturizers, things like that. She wraps them up individually as little mini daily advent um, Prezies, which I loved. Another DIY option for a Christmas gift idea, and I have mentioned this previous on previous years, and it's some kind of Hinch hamper. So if the female in your life who you are buying for is a Mrs. Hinch lover, then I think it'd be really fun to get a selection of either some of her faves or maybe some festive finds within the supermarkets or the bargain homeware shops. I've got a couple of seasonal um, finds in terms of the cleaning aisle, which I thought I would show you. These are Febreze toilet um, air freshener type things. So especially if you are wanting to create a Hinch hamper, she's got a new range out, the Frosted Pine and Eucalyptus. So you could just do a whole themed hamper of just these um, new ones that she's brought out. But there are loads of other um, scents as well. This one is Merry Berries. And then I saw this and I had to pick this one up. These are all from Home Bargains that I picked up. It's one of the Airwick plugins but it's in the scent Christmas Markets. How nice does that sound? And then equally this, Febreze Air Freshener in Cozy Christmas. How wholesome is that? So yeah, so yeah, some kind of hinge hamper, whether it be to also include her one of her books or one of her um, fashion or homeware bits that she does with Tesco's. I did find this in Tesco's from the Hinch range and I had to pick it up for myself. This is a gorgeous like mohair type super super soft throw luxury throw it is 30 pounds which i think is great value for money and what i love about this it's huge it's for a super king bed so it's i think it's about two yeah it's 220 by 220 centimeters so this is going to fit on our bed it is so cozy and yeah i just had to show you that and great gift idea as well for 30 pounds sometimes in our society with the news and everything everything can get a little bit overwhelming and I thought it'd be a nice thing to include some kind of gratitude book or positivity journal, something like that. And when I found this little book called How to Find Joy in Five Minutes a Day, inspiring ideas to boost your mood every day. I just thought this is a really feel good little item to be able to open on Christmas day. There's little um, activities that you could do. It has a few quotes. Joy is everywhere once you know where to look. This beautiful book includes tips and ideas to help you elevate your mood and liven up your routine. Perhaps you'll try setting an intention, performing a small act of kindness or eating outdoors in the fresh air. Even the smallest moment of positivity can transform your outlook. So whether you follow one tip or many, you are sure to lift your spirits and find a smaller way to 
basis of happiness every day. So leading on from that, some kind of journal, whether it be a mindfulness journal, gratitude journal, or any kind of diary or calendar like that to um, a stationary lover, I think is always a good shout. There's quite a lot on a brand called Mal Paper that I really like the look of with like linen covers. They do one called My Five Year Story, which is like a line a day kind of journal as well. TK Maxx and Home Sense, they always tend to have good diaries. I also found these in Tesco, so I thought I would include them. I thought as an idea for a gift, some kind of glitzy jewelry. I personally bought these for myself to wear for, um, I've got a couple of Christmas girly nights out booked in, which I thought these would be really nice kind of statement jewelry, uh, statement earrings, nice and glitzy for Christmas. But receiving these as a Christmas gift idea would also be great for leading into New Year's if you've got New Year's plans as well. So I had to pick these up, £12.50. They are beautiful, nice and affordable for such a statement jewelry item. So this next item is kind of select to anyone who has a Hotel Chocolat Velvetizer, but I guess anything from Hotel Chocolat is such a great gift for a chocolate lover. Um, but I thought if you do have a Velvetizer, if you're buying for someone who does, it's quite a nice idea just to stock them up with a, um, a box of the sachets. This is the selection box, so a good generic one for if you're not sure what flavour to buy them, or hopefully they might bring out some Christmassy editions. I'm not sure if they have, I need to check that. These are priced at about £13 a box. I picked myself up this mug. It is from Anthropology and it is one of their new monogram mugs. They do, um, I think they do a new style every year. This year they brought out these, um, I think this one's called the Snowcap one, which is all white, but they do have some more colorful ones as well, which B&M have been duping, I have noticed. On the website and online where I picked mine up from, it was 16 pounds. However, it does have an anthropology sticker on the bottom at only 12 pounds. So I don't know if they're more expensive online or if this is just priced wrong, but I would maybe if you've got a store local to you, check it out because if it is 12 pounds and you do save yourself four quid. I feel like I may have mentioned this in a gift guide last year, but I wanted to include it again because it is honestly a lifesaver. It's so practical and nice to maybe even get one every year just because if you don't know what it is, it's from the Flat Lake Company. It's essentially a um, storage bag for all your makeup bits. There are little sections so that you can categorize and organize it like that, or how I have it, just loose <laughs> and everything in the middle so that you can like literally lay it all out flat in front of you. There's no rummaging through a bag. You can see every item and then you just gather it up and tighten it so that um, it's really easy to put away. I'll just briefly show you. So I got myself a new color. This is the Army Green, I think it's called, or Khaki or something. I'll, I'll leave a link to it again below for you. But that's how it looks um, laid out flat. And then you have your little drawstring toggle, which you just cinch it in. And then you've got your makeup bag. Utility green is the color that I went for. Moving into the kind of mid-range category of over 20 pounds now, I wanted to mention a flower subscription. So I know Freddie's Flowers do them. I'm sure there are maybe like local ones to you. I think they're from about 25 pounds a month. So whether or not be it just like a starter month that you buy for someone, I'm sure you can do it for like three, six, 12 months or something like that. I'll have to look into it. But I just thought that was a nice gift idea to give someone who seems to have everything. They don't have a fresh bunch of flowers coming to their door every month. Then some kind of coffee table book, some kind of recipe book if they're a little cook, a chef in the kitchen. However, I did want to show you an interiors book, a brand new one, which I'm sure most of you guys will have seen already. It is the new White Company book that they have brought out called The Art of Living with White, A Year of Inspiration. So if you have the first book, you'll know it's categorized into different styles, town, country, and coast. This one is categorized into seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. It's great for inspiration. It is just such an aesthetically pleasing book that you could even have laid out kind of open on a page on a coffee table. I just think it's beautiful. It does retail for 35 pounds from the White Company, but I've seen it online for 30. So I'll leave it linked below where you can find it a bit cheaper. Next up, I wanted to mention a company called Artisans. So Artisans is perfect for the creative in your life if you're wanting to buy something for someone to 
um, craft or do, then these little kits that they do are brilliant. They do a whole range of different items, different price points. This one is £35, I believe, and it's the coffee filter holder so this could be good for a guy as well if you've got a crafty guy in your life i wanted to include within this gift guide a kind of beauty roundup of some faves that i thought would be great gift ideas so i'm going to start with the neom luxury real luxury bath foam this is in the scent to de-stress and this is such a luxury item if you're buying for someone who loves a bath this is such a nice product to add to your bath it smells incredible it feels lovely and it is priced at 23 pounds you get quite a lot so i think it's pretty good value for money and neon products are insane they smell amazing an absolute hero product of mine at the moment has been my charlotte tilbury flawless filter as well which i use as base under a foundation or a bb cream you can just use it on high points as more of a highlight but it's just a good all-rounder product and it does come in a variety of shades however i would say they're pretty flexible it's one of those products that you can get away with a shade or two darker and lighter i also have this to recommend the revital lash this is the Lash um, Revitalash Enhanced, or sorry, Advanced it's called. Um, these are about £100. I bought myself one quite a while ago now and loved using it. So I've just recently got a second one. I also have a couple of hair brands, hair products to recommend. The Olaplex Treatment number three, I think is the best seller. That's about 28 pounds. Then this is another thing I've been loving. This is my second one now. It's from Way and it's called a Scalp Serum. So they also do really lovely hair products. This is just a good serum to kind of like refresh and replenish your scalp. You don't have to wash it off. You actually can put it on clean hair. You just put it on the scalp itself at any point and it just dries in. And it's kind of like moisturizing your scalp without your hair getting greasy. So I really love that product. And this one's about 46 pounds. I came across, I think it was probably about a month ago now, it was on Zara Home and it was a calligraphy set. Now I went back on to try and purchase it to include within this gift guide. It was no longer online, but having searched through, I've managed to find a couple of other ones that I thought I would just recommend and link below. One from a brand called Tom Studio. They're more of like the kind of higher end price point, or you can go more budget. And I know Typo, that stationery brand, they have them from eight pounds. If you're buying for someone who's a bit of a spiritual lover into their horoscopes, maybe book an appointment with a psychic or a medium. And I had a quick look online at some near me, and I think the rough price point for like a one-to-one -one type session is anywhere from about 30 to 60 pounds. You can do group ones as well, which I think would be really fun, especially if you're new to it, but you want to maybe get the girls together and have a medium come around. And yeah, I think it's just a, for me anyway, personally, I think it's a good idea. I know not everyone would be into it. This was something that I received from Primark last month, but I thought I would include it anyway. It was in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month in October. Primark launched a range of PJs with Girls Aloud in um, honour of Sarah Harding. So I thought I'd mention it. Obviously, any, any kind of PJs are always welcome, but if you're wanting to do something by supporting a good cause. The darkest nights produce the brightest stars. This is the top in a medium at 18 pounds. And that is the bottoms that go with that top. And then this is a, like the top in a nighty form at 14 pounds. I feel lovely actually. And then they came in this little kind of sleep suit duster bag. Another small business I wanted to mention is one called Baswick and it is a company that do a candle subscription service. So they very kindly reached out and offered to send me this from um, from them. It is this month's candle, at least this month's candle for me because you do complete a short survey which allows you to detail the type of scents that you tend to prefer so that you know you're going to get one that you like. A little note card of um, the candle cap. It says, don't throw it away, place in soil, add water, and in a few weeks, see your new flowers grow. So that's good as well. So the candle that they sent to me this month is this one, and I've had a smell of it already. Let me tell you, it smells incredible. Honey and tobacco. So I like that really warm, spicy kind of, almost masculine scent as well. And this, it's so, it is sweet from the honey, but it's so warming and spicy and smoky, but I love that one. So be sure to check out Baswick. They do have a range of options available for the subscription to suit you. And it also came with a little eye patch from 
one-on-one skin. I think they do a couple of different size options and also whether or not you want to buy someone a three, six or 12 month subscription. So I think they're priced from around about the 50 to 55 pound mark. So as well as pajamas, how could I not mention some cozy slippers? And this year I wanted to show you this new pair that I have picked up from UGG and they are in this gorgeous chocolatey brown color. It's kind of like a taupe, mushroomy chocolate brown though. I love them. Now, Ugg are some of the coziest slippers ever, 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 ever. I do also love the white company ones, especially the crossover ones. They um, have brought out a new shade this year, if you were into it, a baby pink. I'll leave the white company ones down below as well, because I've had the grey ones throughout the whole of this year that I got last Christmas, and I have loved them. Another thing, Astrid and Mew, the jewellery brand, they do welded bracelets, like friendship bracelets or like mother and daughter, however you want to see it, but I thought that was a great idea that you can go into store, get your bracelets welded to you, and essentially they just stay on until they come off. They're very delicate, very dainty, I think it's about a hundred and... 100 pounds, 120 pounds. Speaking of UGG, my UGG Ultra Minis, I know they're quite hard to get hold of at the minute, but I've absolutely loved those. Great gift idea, or some kind of trainers as well. Also, some kind of clothing for Christmas, I always think is a lovely gift idea. We always used to get some kind of clothing item on Christmas that we could then wear on Christmas day or Boxing Day. Um, I did want to mention this hoodie actually as a clothing item for this year because I have lived in this. I have loved it. I want to get another one. I want to get all the colors, to be honest with you. I just love the relaxed fit of it. It's not tight around the cuffs or the bottom. Um, it is a Neen Bing, if you can't tell. <laughs> um, I got this from Farfetch. I'll leave this one linked below. But they're anywhere from about 80 pounds up to 180 pounds. So comfy, so lovely. It is quite like a distressed look. So all the edging and stuff is kind of like, um, yeah, distressed. Let me show you a bit closer up. Can you see these little bits here? I also wanted to mention another luxury item and we have a pair of hair straighteners. <laughs> I wanted to show you the brush that I've got as well, just cause again, as a more affordable alternative, if they've already got GHDs, this is a really good um, dressing brush. They call it, it's like a finishing brush. Um, but the actual GHDs I have to recommend are the Curve Toll Tongue classic curl so these i use most most times that i do my hair this is actually the more narrow wand but i have the wider one and um, this is going to be a gift for someone this year but i have to recommend them because ghd is quality i mean my straightness i had back in school days they just they just live on and on and on. And then one last and final item, and again within the beauty section, and just under the 200 pounds mark is a um, CMD shellac LED lamp that you can use to do your at-home gel nails. So I have been doing my gel nails for quite a while now, for months with this lamp. I have in the past bought cheaper lamps. They have not worked. I've ended up wasting sort of 50 to 100 pounds on them. So I would recommend getting a good quality one, not necessarily this exact one, but a good quality LED lamp. You could even get the gel nail polishes and stuff to go with it as well. In the long run, since doing my gel nails, it kind of is a great investment piece anyway, because it will save um, in the long run. So yeah, I would recommend that if the person that you're buying for is after a gel nail kit, just get quality. Like I said, I've been there, done it with the cheap ones and they've not worked. So yeah, that completes my gift guide for her video. Like I mentioned at the start of this video, stay tuned for lots more budget friendly options within my stocking filler gift guide, my B&M one. I also have the gift guides for him coming for them. We have couples, we have pets. Lots of more gift ideas to come this week. Make sure to stay tuned by subscribing. Like this video if you're a fan of the gift guides and you are happy for them to be back. And yeah, I hope to see you all tomorrow. Bye guys.